This is a horrifying story of torture. Tonight, you're going to hear exclusively from a man who was bound and beaten inside an Albuquerque home. Chase Motherman has now been uh, charged with this crime. That's right, and here is the most haunting part of this. Court documents say he threatened the victim with a photo of his dead friend, a friend who is missing. Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton joins us now with more. Yeah, Todd Royal, that victim is Matthew Tressler. He says he barely knew Smotherman, but entered the most frightening hours of his life when he walked into his home last week. The cuts, scrapes, and bruises are starting to heal, but Matthew Tressler will never forget how they got there. Positive I was going to die. Just pure terror. I was screaming like a little girl. It was terrifying. Court documents say Tressler was tortured by several people at Chase Smotherman's home last week. Tressler tells us Smotherman kept saying he owed drug money. He was tied up and beaten with baseball bats and other items for hours. I walked through the door and uh, was immediately struck with a bat. Um, knocked to the floor and beaten a little bit. Uh, that's when I was real scared and duct taped me. Then the story takes a disturbing turn. During the beating, Tressler told police he was shown a computer. On the screen, Tressler says he saw a picture of his friend John Soika mutilated and dead. Albuquerque police tell us tonight Soika is missing. What did you think of when you when you saw that photo, knowing that he's missing? I, I, it was horrible. That's all I want to say about that. It was bad and he's gone. The documents say Tressler was eventually dropped off near Alameda and Edith and was told by one of the men that he'd been spared. But after coming forward, Tressler tells us he now fears for his life. I've lost my girlfriend. Um, I, I can't feel safe at my roommate's house anymore. I don't want them hurt for fear of retaliation, but I'm not going to give up on my friend John and uh, I'll see it through to the end. Investigators are working to identify several others believed to be involved in Tressler's torture. Before our newscast, we were told police identified Mitchell Overhand as an additional suspect. If you know where he is, call police. Matt Howerton, KOAT Action 7 News. And Overhand's name might sound familiar. He pleaded guilty as a teenager to killing his parents and burying them in their Paradise Hills backyard in 1988. Police say Overhand and a friend shot his parents as they slept. Then the two threw a party after the crime. Overhand was released from prison in 2010.